So Patience, thanks for joining us. Um, I know you're a very busy lady. You know, I've got to say, I've always been a fan, and I've been many times on the seller, especially in top billing, uh, very, two very successful shows. Um, but I'm very interested to know, you know, where did all of this start? Sure. It started a long time ago. <laughs> I did um, a degree in drama at Wits University, and then I joined the SABC in the sports department. And I worked there for 11 years, and they moved you around in all the different departments, and I tried to learn as much as possible, and they really gave you many opportunities to learn. And then when I left the SABC, I went on my own, and I started my own business. And um, it, it was always about hard work, that I didn't have enough money to buy the equipment in the beginning, so I had to work really hard to be able to get the equipment together. And when I was working, I was working on other people's stuff. So when they went home, I'd go into their edit suites and use them while they were off. And then they'd come back in the morning and I'd leave, having done what, what I was working on. But when it really took off was um, in 1992, when I proposed the idea to the SABC of um, top billing. And they accepted the idea, and that, that absolutely, that was wonderful for me. And in 1994, Basitsana Kamalo won Miss South Africa, and I watched her winning Miss South Africa, and I thought, this is a star. She has to be an integral part of top billing. She has to present on top billing. And I approached Doreen Morris, who we'd been working with at the time, and said to Doreen, please, would Basti be interested perhaps in presenting? And Doreen said yes. And Basti started working on the show, and then I thought, we need to be partners in business. And again, Bussy agreed to be my partner in business. And we started a production company called Swella Pele Productions, which is about moving forward, progress, two women in business, one white, one black, working together to create what we hope is a magical product. And now here we are in 2016, and we're still working together, and we're still doing top billing, and it's like our personal miracle talking to entrepreneurs and people that want to get into the TV business. Again, I'm saying it's not that easy. Uh, but describe a little bit your, you know, your job, what you do every, every single day. Putting these shows together, for me, it's like a work of art. It's like baking a cake and putting the finishing touches and producing something which people want to eat. And we have a lot of planning meetings, so we'll plan. This is going to be the content, this is going to be the approach. Everybody's briefed on it. And the other thing is we listen to people. So we're interacting with them on social media. We look at their comments. We listen to what they say on Twitter. We listen to what they say on the Facebook page. We're asking them to tell us what they want to see. And I think in that way, we can keep the content fresh because we're responding to what the viewers tell us they want to see on the show. Do you cook at all at home? I mean, I know you spend a lot of, a lot of, you always get these great chefs and people cooking on the show. Do you do a lot of cooking at home? And, you know, why do you enjoy cooking? I can't cook. <laughs> so my mother called me patience because she waited so long to have me, but it's a misnomer. And I can't cook because I'm not patient. So I'll put the thing on the stove and then I can't watch it cooking because that's boring. And then I go away and do something else and I come back and it's burnt. So I only do things which don't physically need cooking. So I can make a salad or a fruit salad or sh milkshake. I can make shakes. I can do interesting shakes. But physical cooking I can't do. And one of the guys in the office who really understands me, he gave me a boiled egg maker where you push the button so that <laughs> when that boiled egg is cooked, it, the bell rings so that you know and it doesn't burn because I even burn two-minute noodles. I just... Yeah, it's not my skill. So when we um, eat, we generally eat out. And I like sushi because oh, when nice. I've eaten sushi, it makes me feel clever the next day. <laughs> that's, so that's why people enjoy eating sushi. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. there that all that fish oil, there it is, the omega-3s, yeah. and I think it does make a difference. Wow. Patience, and then when it comes to, you know, uh, you know what, so what would you say is your recipe for success? I think... The recipe for success is hard work, like you've said. I think you have to surround yourself with people with passion and enthusiasm who really love doing what they do, who are prepared to put in the hours, not because um, they want the money for it necessarily, but because they're really passionate about what they're doing. I think that it's important, and this is my failing, if I went back again and started in business again, I would have been an accountant. I would have started off by doing an accountancy course because I think it really helps you if you can be on top of all the finances in your business yeah. all the time. And 
Then the other thing is managing people. I think if you're going to start your own company, you should also do a management course because it's difficult working with people. You have to motivate them. They have to want to come to work and be there and be happy. And if you don't have any skills with managing people, you might make people unhappy. So I think that's very important. And the other thing is making the client happy. That if you don't make the client happy, whether it's your client, if you're working with sponsors, or your client in the terms of viewers, you have to make that client happy in whatever business you're in. That sounds like a really good recipe. And you know, you've done very well. So thanks again for, for your time. I appreciate it. It's been fun um, having a chat with you. And may there be many more successes. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. Thank you.